Good morning. So the last two days I've been sorting all the I don't know what should I call them my official boring bits out. Like I finally got my internal passport, picked it up on Monday, literally spent the entire day at the place, which is not a surprise really. And yesterday I managed to get an official copy of our marriage certificate. And last thing I need to do is to get it notarized. So yesterday as well I ended up running around the whole area trying to find the place where I could do it, but there wasn't anything about. So my sister's off today, <laughs> she's not working. So we're going to get this done quickly and then go for a walk around the city. Probably shot. <laughs> sure. Okay, apparently they're not working till the 19th of September. There should be another one 10 minutes away. Let's go and check that one out. I can see it. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> okay, looks promising. Looks like the door is open. I'll update you when we're out. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm finally done. To be honest, I didn't expect to get it done today, but it's all good now. All the documents and all the official stuff is sorted. Right, now let's shoot across the town. We need to do some shopping buy some food and the shop is literally across the town so let's go there is actually very far from everything it seems I've never been in this part of the city and just to let you know there are loads of different shops around my grand but my sister found out in this specific supermarket that she loves so that's why we're here Я с тобой возьму, да, мне тоже понравилось. Я возьму одну. А тебе точно две хватит? Мы тут будем кушать бабушку еще, я твою буду есть. Давай. Оставай. Сколько их там? Шесть. Раз, два, три. Нам четыре хватит. Okay, let's go and pay for those oats. Or we'll try and run away. Thank you very
привет. Нет. Привет. Как привет. ты себя чувствуешь? Как ты себя чувствуешь? Сходила, купила эту ку Кого? курицу. Не курицу, я посмотрела бульон. Смешно, мы тоже курицу купили. <coughs> Тебе для бульона. Ну, мне зачем хватит. Good morning. My girl is feeling better today. Ideally, I would like her to chill at home for a bit longer, but I think she's fed up of staying at home and there is no way of stopping her. So we're just on the way to my auntie's. А как-то потому что мы последний раз здесь были зимой, все же снегом усыпано. Забываешь, что дороги такие плохие. После лета вода течет, и никому дела нету. Все лето вот хожу, и тут сыр течет, и течет откуда. А откуда она течет? А вон, тут сверху там, и никто не может не позвонить, ничего. Mm -hmm. Это канал этот. А Оля дома? Угу. Сейчас скажет, кто там хозяйничает, дверь открывает. Спасибо. Так, смотри, а у тебя тут вишня, ну. там малина, угу. там бассейн, угу. тут огурцы, перчик, да? Да. Или еще что-то? Там перец, баклажан. Баклажан тоже тут? Ага. Тут морковка? Помидоры. Помидор. А, -а, -а. Там а грядки были. Там клубника? Да. А где морковка? Убрана все. Ну вот там она, да, была? Да. Угу. Что еще у тебя там росло? Две грядки лука, морковка, свекла вон там была. Свекла тоже. А там у тебя еще кабачок, да? Да. А ты тыкву не сажала в этом году? А что? Не хочешь? Как-то я ее не знаю, что с ней ватать, не знаю. О, столько всего. Не. Ты бы меня спросила, я бы тебе сказала. Ну вот, В следующем году приеду, будем тыкву вместе сажать тогда. Весной приезжай. Хорошо? Ладно, приеду. Смотри, все будем... И чего они ждут? А там кошки. А, -а, а, вы друзей ждете? Ну. Ладно, Алюнь, пока-пока. Спасибо большое. I just come back to my auntie because she was giving me more cabbage and tomatoes and stuff. My grand ran away without me. Ой. I actually wanted to show you around the houses because the house literally next to my auntie used to be my grand's house and I was born there, I wanted to show you around there a bit, but I guess I'll show it to you next time. <laughs> She's walking fast. Ну здравствуйте. Чего ты без меня убежала? 
А? Там долго так. Долго, мне Оля капусту давала. Давай сюда. We just finished doing everything. We made vegetable ragu and then prepared some carrots for winter. So we just washed them, peeled them and grated them and then froze them. So they're ready to be cooked in the winter. And my grand does it every year, so I helped her with that. Then afterwards we made something that's called courgette caviar, which is basically like fried carrots and onion and then a lot of grated or chopped up um, courgette. And you just cook it all together, then some spices and salt, and then you puree it all together. And it's delicious. So we made that too. And I'm just roasting some chicken for dinner. And that's it. Everyone assumes that uh, because I'm my grand little lead, I know how to do everything in the garden. I actually don't know anything at all. And I don't like it. I would love to come here during like the spring and summer period so I can learn everything from my grand and auntie. Hopefully I'll manage to do it at some point, but when I was a teenager, my grand's dacha, or like allotment, is quite f used to be quite far out of the city. I used to uh, offer her my help and to come with her, but <laughs> she would never accept my offers, so <clears throat> I literally have no idea. I would love my own garden eventually. I asked her certain things. She was like, just Google it. <laughs> Brilliant, thanks, Grant. <laughs> Hello. Over the last few days, I've been filming different videos and editing videos and just hanging around with my gran and my sister. And at the moment, we're making cake with my sister. When I said that we are making cake, I basically meant that my sister's making cake and I'm just supervising, I'm not allowed to do anything. And everybody thinks I'm the bossy one, huh? Good morning. I've told you that uh, I've been hunting for these little apples for ages and they turn out to be super sour. <laughs> I thought if they'd be delicious, we're just gonna eat them, but they're very sour. So we're gonna make jam out of them with my gran. Uh -huh. And um, my grand told me that I got mugged off how much I paid for them. Should have gone with my grand, well, I'll know better for next time. So we covered those little apples with sugar and I'm gonna leave it to sit for quite a few hours. Wait for the juices to come out. Yeah. <laughs> we just went out for a little walk with my gran and we need to get some sugar as well from the shop. Da bab. Da? Sugar. Sakhar nada. No da. No da. I pogulat nimnoshko da? Да. Да. И печень поищем. И печень поищем, да. Well, that was pretty quick. They didn't have cheap sugar. We're gonna. Uh -huh. We're gonna have a look elsewhere. But the good news, we managed to buy some chicken liver for my favorite pancakes. Вот 
Ага. Ага. Шестьдесят семь девяносто девять. Это дорого? Да. Нет. Это дорого? Нет. Заходи. А покрупнее нету? Самая ну, крупная. Ну вот они вот забирайте. Я 50 рублей три штучки. Не могу, я не отмерну, не Спасибо большое. Бросай. Тебе давай, а то у меня ну, тяжело. Да. Давайте, девчонки, с кожурой прямо на третье убавку. Я с кожурой натираю. И с медом, да? И с медом и смешать. И мед туда. И с кожурой натираю туда. Тоже вот. хорошо хорошо. Промойте. А потом ну, промойте с марлечкой. Конечно. Потом у марлечки. Сперва по это попробуйте нет, вот, с кожурой. Нет. Понравится, не понравится? Ну да. Не, а то можно всю потерять. Не будешь слушать советы, да? Это можно, мел, который помельче, можно так сделать, как она сказала. А эту выдолблю туда мед. Ну да, которая побольше. That's it, all the shopping's done. We're just gonna sit on a bench for a little bit on a fresh air and then get back home well i've been editing my grand made jam without me so i'll show you what she did it's basically ready we just need to pour it into jars but um when they came back from shops he gave enough juices out the little apples and then my grand basically boiled them three times so she brought it to the boil and then left it to cool down and then repeated the same process three times Ну давай, наливай. Давай я подержу. Может быть, или тебе так удобнее? Нет? Ладно. Только ты аккуратно сама. Just love the color of it. It's so pink. Да? Ты же, красивая. ты же у меня сильная. Правда, такое красивое. I'm just gonna go and pick my sister up from work, and when we're back, we're gonna make some awesome plum jam. It's delicious. And I got this little doodle. On the way, we need to pick up a parcel as well that my mom sent me. Just with my clothes. Mm -hmm. oh. oh no. Привет, сосиска. Сосиска. Чу нет? We got it. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's go home. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's well oversaturated. Так, бабуль, мы с тобой помыли сливу, косточки убрали. Что мы сейчас делать будем? А без косточек то надо взвешивать. Да, мы сейчас взвешиваем. Я взвесила посуду эту. Я помню, сколько она весит без сливы. Ты Есть такая вероятность. По-моему, 820. Ага, да, правильно. А ты откуда знаешь? Я слышала, ты сказала. Да? О, да, 820, не забыла. Что мы сейчас делать будем? Вот 20. 
Скажи, что сейчас делать будем? Что делать? Засыпать ее и пускай стоит ночь. Хорошо. So we basically covered beautiful plums with sugar and gonna leave it overnight and come back to them tomorrow morning. This morning we went out with my sister quickly just to sort a few things out and uh, my grand made jump without me already. <laughs> so basically it's been boiled three times now and my grand added, we added some extra sugar and uh, some cinnamon and cloves and the clove has been taken out now now it's ready to go in the jars давай попробуем не обожаю потихоньку оно очень красивое цвет такой красивый пахнет очень вкусно всем и корицей и гвоздикой и сливой Ну, такое бордовое, красивое. Угу. А ты добавляла кислинку? Да. Вы так и знала. Угу. Да. Я немножечко. Давай. We are on our way to our auntie just to say a quick hi and I'll show you around the area where my grand used to live and where I was actually born. Hmm? I actually wanted to say that it's about 28 degrees today and it's about 20, 22nd of September. Yep, apparently it's the last warm day. And from now on the weather's gonna get real bad. But yeah, it's super hot today. Probably feels like summer. Just a very beautiful one. Even more beautiful! I actually have a very stupid confession. Well, I have <laughs> quite a few of them, but let's just start with this one. So, birch tree is mentioned in a lot of poems and it's supposed to be like um, kind of a thing that like Russians, Russian people have like this special connection to a birch tree and there's such a big significance to this tree so I thought okay maybe it's because it only grows in Russia and when I went <laughs> to England even let's say oh my god cats are going crazy oh it's a beautiful cat <laughs> anyway when I went to England moved to England and I saw that they have birch trees going there that was a proper shock for me and we were actually talking about it with my brother and he was like I was the same I thought so too <laughs> so definitely family so yeah this is my auntie's house and this used to be my grand's it was a lovely house it was quite big actually that's a lie that was a really nice house. Once. I actually really like their windows. <laughs> <laughs> my grand used to grow a lot of things in her garden there and uh, she used to have actually a garden there and she used to have a dacha or even two she used to grow so many things honestly but um and across the whole street i'd say we used to know all the neighbors around this area, literally I'm just looking at the houses, used to know 
yeah, and be kind of friendly with everyone. And my grand was telling me that when um, everyone was younger, they would always get together and like celebrate things and just, you know, sit out on the streets. Like everyone remember my grand used to have benches just bench right over there and my auntie used to have it there when uh, my auntie's mom was alive and yeah, everyone was just hanging around together and uh, when my grand used to live here she sold the house in 2000 I think or 2001 and I was what five six at that point and before she sold the house I used to I used to come and visit her all the time and used to play with kids from across this area, from this tree in particular. Good times. But although you think about it, it's really nice when everything is, is kind of that friendly, but at the same time, everyone was uh, in each other's business and knew everything about each other. So I guess it's everything. <laughs> there are good parts and bad parts to everything. Давай тогда до завтра. Да. Звони. Пока, Лин. Our auntie used to work in the nursery. It's literally really close to her house as well. But it's getting knocked down at some point. No idea when. But basically they closed it. And uh, it's just going to sit there for two years. No one knows for some period of time. And uh, basically she... Um, is getting retired now which uh, she told us that she had a few last days at work last week but uh, ideally she would like to continue working there and she doesn't feel really up for looking for a new job because of her age and her health state and stuff but she's a bit upset feel, feel a bit for her but um yeah so she's getting retired and uh, getting used to all that kind of new lifestyle but uh, I tried when um, I went to see her for the first time. I was trying to, you know, cheer her up and just say that, you know, people look at retirement not the right way, maybe sometimes, that there are lots of things you can do still and lots of, you know, hobbies and different things and maybe do something on the side, but basically, yeah. We just go back home and tomorrow we're gonna make something delicious with my grand and my sister and I'm inviting you to join us. But for now I'm gonna leave you here so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one!